again. If you're new here, my name is Jackie, spelled with a Q, not a K, J-A-C-Q-I-E. No you. There's no you. All right. Um, if you enjoy beer-related content, such as this, and a sassy blonde girl, sassy, I'm something. I don't know what I am, but I'm fun. A fun blonde girl. Yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's right there. And uh, next to that, um, no, on the other side, somewhere, there's a thumbs up. If you enjoy this video while you're watching, thumbs it up. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So, if y'all watched my last video, you know that I played with some profusion. I went to the store, the store today. <laughs> oh God. I went to the store today and I found a few more things. Okay, so what I have um, gathered from my research, it's really just online and in-store searching. Why is it? That was weird. Okay, what, like, what the fuck is it from Wiggle on the Table? Sorry, the background looked like it was moving. It was weird. Okay, anyways, what I have gathered is uh, Profusion does not have primer, um, concealer, or powders. None of those exist. Profusion, what you doing? Can't have this great ass foundation, no concealer or no powder to go with it. What are you thinking? You gotta get on that, bros. 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 Whatever. People. 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 Oops. Anywho's. Okay, so let me show you what I did pick up, okay? It's only three things. Just three things. Alright, this says said no. New. No. There's a little sticker right there, so it's new. No. Can you read that? Uh no. Okay. It is. Pigment Base Eyeshadow Primer, and it says crease-free and smudge-proof, enhances color vibrancy universally, universally, okay, flattering. Yeah, I guess that's spelled right, and it is in neutral. I think that's the only shade they have, to be quite honest with you. So that's the first thing. The second thing also says new. There's a little sticker. It says new. And that is this is Lash Out Loud Lengthening and Curling Mascara. Now, if you see the pretty picture, let's see. Can you see the difference in this? There to there. Holy shiznits. We're about to. We're gonna try it out and see how good it is. Cause if this is good, it's four dollars. It was three ninety eight, three nine eight at Walmart. Three ninety eight. So was this. Three ninety eight. And then last but not least, it's not new. I had never seen it before, but it's got. It's called Good Brow Day Brow Define Duo Nourishing Nourit. <laughs> Girl, I cannot talk today. Nourishing Brow Pomade Pencil Smudge Proof Precise Brow Pen. And it has, I don't know if you can see it. It's got the three like brow strokes. Here, you can see it right there. On one side and then just a regular thin brow pencil on the other. So that is not new, but this was $5. So these two were both four. They were three ninety eight, and this was five or four ninety eight. If you really want to come down to pennies, whatever. All right, but so we're gonna start with opening them first. I'm just gonna open them, and then we'll do the primer. We'll start with the primer. Get off me! Oh my goodness! I I gotta pee. I probably should have peed before I started this whole thing. Could people have just stolen this? Bros. It is in there like this. All you have to do. 
don't go stealing it or anything. I'm just saying, like, wow, that's not very protective at all, is it? Unless this was somehow holding it in, which it could have been. It might have been. But I have a feeling you could have gotten it out regardless. Anywho, how about this? Can you get this out regardless? Nope, this one you can't. All right, can we just, yeah, there we go. Stop peeling the sticker completely off. Let's just, yeah, no, there was no getting this out. Ah! Okay, I have got to empty my garbage because it's full. I like this packaging. It's beautiful, too. Hmm. For freaking $3.98. Come on. I have got to empty this garbage. All right. Hold up. I will be right back. I have got to pee. I drank my coffee way too fast. BRB. Much better. Okay. We're going to start, obviously. Man, I got to clean my brushes, bros. Peeps. All right, yes, we're gonna start with the Pigment Base Eyeshadow Primer. Look like this, how much is in here? You know, I'd love to see how much is in this one, but you can't read it anymore. Dang it. I have a feeling there's more in the Believe Beauty than there is in this one, but it doesn't say how much is in this one either. Probably does on the box that I just threw away, oh well, whatever. Let's just put it on and see what happens. Ooh, okay, that is pigmented for sure. Maybe a little too pigmented. Oh. This is why you do eyes first. Okay. Did that say universally flattering? I don't think so. <laughs> If your skin's darker than mine, that's going to be. But it, I guess if you're putting eyeshadow over it, but I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. Y'all tell me, what do you think? Do you think this is a little bit light? Neutral. Neutral? My ass. Well, I guess it's neutral, but it's like neutral, fair neutral. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Just here to test and see how it goes. All right, I'm using the same palette as last time because, I don't know, seems like it would go good with my army green sweatshirt. Wow. So that's where we're starting. <laughs> I'm gonna take Canopy. Did I take Canopy last time? I'm gonna take Canopy. On a doll. And put that in the crease. Is that even on the brush? I don't know. Oh yeah, I guess it is. My son is home. I'm pretty sure he is listening to music in his room. If you're wondering what that like shaking is, he listens to music in his earbuds and he like paces in his room and jumps around and stuff. And yeah, because I live in a trailer, <laughs> the whole damn thing shakes. So, in case you're curious what the hell's going on, it's not an earthquake. We don't really get those here. I mean, if we do, they're very, very small ones. And they're usually in the middle of the lake. <laughs> No, I have heard of some up north, like in Canada, like, but, I mean, I don't live in Canada. I live probably about three hours away from Canada. I think, unless it's three hours to get to Buffalo. I don't know. Okay. I'm 
going to do something. I'm going to get out of maple. Maple. Oh, Jesus. I can't talk today, folks. Make up. Wipe. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to go into the shade worldwide. I'm going to put this all over the lid. We're going grungy. It's right here. It's a grungy brown. I just feel like the grunge will be good. I don't know. About to find out. Worldwide. It's like a green brown almost. A grungy greeny brown. Which goes great with green, you know? It's almost like dirty money, but browner. <laughs> oh yeah, I like it. I like it, I like it a lot. Yes, I like that, that's cool. All right. Ah, not seriously? I was gonna put like a lighter in the middle, a lighter, a lighter shade, but I don't think any of these will really go. You know? Like I don't wanna go gold. Rose gold doesn't work. I don't know. We'll just leave it as is. And then, I'll take that canopy and deepen up that crease a little. Okay, now we're gonna take, I guess we'll take this pointed small firm eyeshadow brush and we're gonna go into the shade Night Dream. This is a very dark brown and we're gonna put a little of it in the outer corner. That's not the one I wanted. Dipped it in the wrong color. Kind of going at an angle down by the lash line. And then up towards the crease where we will do a little more blending with the um, transition shade after. All right, now with that canopy shade again. A little blending into the crease. This is a wet and wild brush, in case you don't know what they, their old school brushes look like. That is it. Okay, let's clean up. <laughs> that was a, such a bad idea. Knowing that I have to test out a mascara. In order to test out a mascara, you kind of have to be able to see your lashes. <sighs> Smart. Now yeah, what are you gonna do? I do what I feel in my heart I need to do with my makeup. And I feel like that is, I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna take some of this Revolution Hydrate Primer. This is so watery that like it leaks into the cap. And like it is so hard to put the cap on without losing some primer through your finger. Oh my God, I'm like, I need, mm, I need to figure out where to angle my mirror. 
And then I'm going to go over that primer with the Revolution Pore Blurring Primer. Now we're going to curl my lashes. What did I do with the rest of the shit? Oh, there it is. Okay. Curl lashes real quick. All right. Now, we're going to Good. No, we're gonna fix this damn chair. Wow. Okay, that's better. Ugh. Scoot forward a little bit. We're going to put on this Lash Out Loud. Isn't that the name? Oh no, this is Lash and Roll. Isn't there a Lash Out Loud? A different Lash Out Loud? What is it called? Mascara? Like from Milani or something? I feel like there's another one with the same name, but I could be wrong. You let me know. Here, we, this said new, and I know I've heard Lash Out Loud. So somebody else had a Lash Out Loud mascara. I, don't, I feel like it was Milani. No. Went well? I don't know. Somebody. Elf? Somebody. Oh my god. Woo! That didn't want to come out. Alright, here we go. Okay, that's one coat on that side. This really doesn't want to come out. Watch this. Yikes. Yikers! Oh shit. Oh, I got it on my lid. Okay, we'll just wait for it to dry. Wet formula, that much I can tell. Okay, that's one coat. Can you see? It's not too bad for one coat, but let's try two. And for five dollars, y'all, I mean, what mascara is five dollars anymore? What makeup is five dollars? Profusion, if you're watching. <laughs> Profusion ain't watching. But if somebody who can, is in contact with Profusion is watching, tell them to like get working on concealers and powder because I want to try it. This is actually pretty good after seven coat. Shit, guys, I kind of like that. Huh. Hmm. A couple of lashes that just want to stick together, but whatever. Actually, after two coats, this is really nice. Let's see if I can get close for you to see. You see, it's not too shabby. <laughs> Got my eyelashes. I like that for five bucks. Hells to the yuzaya. There was another uh, mascara as well, but this one said new. I don't know what the hell the other one was. I saw new and I was like, what's that? What's that? New? Not it. And I knew I didn't, I've never tried Perfusion Mascara, so. Anyways, that's a long story. Alright, so this is going to stop in a second, so hold on, let me stop it for you. Okie dokie, artichokey. Now, I'm going to put on, once again, the Profusion. Profusion Foundation. Yeah. Hold on, I'm going to do something real quick. Real quick. Here 
we're going to do it with this little spongy today. Are we? Mm. <laughs> Hope so. Alright. I just squirted the shit out of this little sponge with what was left of this mystified hydrating facial mist from Gerard Cosmetics. I've been working on this for a long time and it's finally gone. Alright. And it's hydrating so hopefully it'll help with hydration. <laughs> Alright. I love this foundation. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta make pizza bagels today. Not that I really feel like eating pizza bagels for dinner, but it's what we have. Anybody ever buy stuff for dinner and then when it comes to having to eat that for dinner, you're like, why did I buy this? <sighs> it like sounded good for five seconds. And now you're like, I really don't want that. And most people just buy more food, you know, order out. I do that sometimes, but uh, right now I don't have the extra king. This is why I love <sighs> brands like Profusion. <laughs> They're affordable. And even if you only have 10, 15 bucks, you can buy a couple of things and then you feel like you got some new stuff and you're excited. Is that just me? Please tell me that's you too. This is looking so good with this. Holy shit. Better than normal with this because I normally just don't wet it. But I did. Obvi. <laughs> Told you about it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to go over anywhere. Well, maybe one or two spots a little. Mainly freaking nose. <sighs> My nose hates me because I'm beautiful. <laughs> uh, that is the dumbest thing I've ever said. Okay, not the dumbest. I've said some pretty stupid things in my time. That's just one of them. The stupid things I said. Yeah, this looks so good with this. This is that air air brush, air spun, air something sponge. I got it at Walmart. It came with three of these and three of these. Sorry, no drink. Uh, it'll be a little bit. I'd take you out, but Lord knows with these nails, you ain't, I ain't gonna be able to put you back in. And we all know that if you leave your nose ring out for too long, your hole closes. <laughs> that did not sound right, but that's technically what happened. What is pilling down here? Hmm. I oh, don't know. Something's pilling down here. I must not have rubbed in that, um... Uh... What is it? Primer. Primer. Very well right there. Just in this spot right here. It's weird. Okay. Man, that looks so nice. I'm, like, tempted to, like, put foundation under my, like, eyes. And say screw concealer. Now we're trying it. I'm trying to find something that looks good under my eye. And 
Because I'm getting old, y'all. Got got lots of lines and wrinkles. And that's not, I'm not, they're only getting worse. So today, we're just going to try this. Nobody said you couldn't use a foundation as a concealer. Some foundations are foundations and concealers. So we're just going to try it out, you know? Because it's pretty good coverage. So why wouldn't it cover the dark circles? You know what I'm saying? Anybody else tried something like this? With just a random foundation they thought looked good on their skin? Let me know! And if so, what foundation did you use and did you like it? Comments are open. Alright. I mean, it doesn't look any worse than concealer. So there we are. All right, now we're gonna try this. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try this. Brow crayon this way, brow pen this way. We're gonna start with the brow pen. And actually, let me get a spoolie. Let me get a spoolie. I'm gonna spoolie through my brows first. Get them all brushed it up. Brushed it. You know it. Brushed it. Hey, who's? All right, now let's try it. I'm scared. Oh, I got this in, what did I get this in? Taupe? There was blonde and taupe, and I'm like, what the hell's the difference? Well, it seems like taupe is a little darker than blonde. And, uh, well, that's how I felt would look best. That's what I thought, would, okay. You know, you get it. Yeah, I don't know how I feel. It's not really making brush strokes. Maybe I'm doing it wrong? This is my first time. How? I don't get it. I'm not, I don't get it. Whatever. I don't really know how this works, but okay. I'm gonna fill in the brow with it. It didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to in the front here. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. I really don't. Any who's a strike? I don't know, maybe I need to shake it. Shake, 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 shake it. I don't, I feel like it's getting dried out already. Maybe not. Okay, Jackie, you weren't pushing hard enough and now you've pushed too hard. Okay. I really don't get it. I don't get the, I don't, I don't, hopefully the pen part or the pencil part. Should I say the crayon? They call it a crayon. Hopefully that part makes more sense to me. Cause as of right now, this this doesn't. Okay. Oh shit. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. All right. We're gonna try the other side. Cause that side. I don't know. Let me try it on my hand. Maybe I'm. No, it's too flimsy. That's all I got. Like, it's not, it's not working the way it's supposed to. Do you see how this tip is? It ain't working like that, bro. Sorry, Profusion. That side ain't it. Maybe the other side. This ain't new either. Oh, damn. This is a triangle. Holy shit. That's a triangle. I thought it was a thinner. All right. Well, if you can tell, see, hold on. See, it's a triangle. Can you see that? There we go. Triangle. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Part of my language, dear God. Let's try this, I guess. Well, this is like almost a whole different color. It's warmer. I didn't, I don't like warmer. Is that the difference between blonde and taupe? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, it is 
that's what it is. It glides on pretty well. It's hard to really tell with the other pen, you know, on there, but... Oh, Jesus. Jesus, take the wheel! Jesus, take the brow pencil. Okay, well, I think that's as good as these brows are going to get today, and they're a little intense, but next time I'll try just the triangle side, and we'll see what happens. So, uh, thoughts are still out on this, but at, well, th this part is a no. This side doesn't work. So, if, I mean, it kind of defeats the whole purpose, if you ask me. But maybe the other side is so good that it's worth the $5. I don't know that. I don't know the answer to that yet. So, you're going to have to tune back in another time. Okie dokie, artichokey. Such a dweeb. You know how they have those, like, dadisms? I don't do dadisms. I do momisms, but they sound like dadisms. So, yeah. I, they're like dadisms, but I'm a mom. Know what I mean? Does that make any sense? Oh, jeez. Ah, where is it? Don't worry, I'll freaking powder you. Yeah. 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 Actually, I no, that's a terrible idea. All right, I'm going to powder down my under eye. Uh, 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 speak uh, English uh. and I'm going to do that with my number seven that way none of that comes off of tap it and a little more. You know they had like a liquid bronzer and stuff, but like I don't use those as bronzers. I use them as where it's like contours. But I didn't get it. I think that was the other thing I was thinking about getting and then I feel like I got distracted and thought I grabbed it and then I didn't. Am I else have my problem? Where they're like, oh, I got it. Moving on. And then they go and check out and they're like, I only got three things. Oh, I could have sworn I got four. And turns out they only got three. Anybody else? Just me? Oh, okay. Cool. I tried to put this powder where, like, I have a lot of creases and stuff. I don't know. Moving on. Now I'm going to do something. I don't know what. what? Okay, I use Wet n Wild a lot. Let's try something different. Something I haven't used in a while. Good question, Jackie. What would that be? Oh, no. Shelf. Not that. I feel like I'm missing what I'm looking for. HD powder. Did I know I had this? Interesting. What color are you? You are in soft luminance. Okay, we're going to try this e.l.f. HD powder that I apparently forgot I had. Oh shit. Oh, 
That's probably why I don't use it. There's glitter! Oh god. This could be a disaster. What the fuck is going on here? There's the hole. Okay. I'm gonna use that. I think my hair is soft. Okay. your fingers. Let's not mess this up. Okay, great. Alright. Oh yeah, I was gonna do that. Well, not now. Okay. I was going to use my essence contour. But oh, I forgot. So I guess we're not. Let's see if I remember next time. That's the only problem with products that you have to put under powder. Sometimes I get carried away with what I'm doing and um, I powder and then I realize that I shouldn't have powdered. And then I'm like, okay. Not how I wanted things to go. I'm just gonna push, push some things in. Okay, I don't think that did a damn thing. But all right, here we are. Soft, soft. Okay. Whee! Okay, my under eyes look pretty much the same as it does with concealer. So. There's that. All right, let me find some other profusion shit <laughs> that I haven't used yet. Well, well, we'll see. Ah! Blush. And we have contour. All right, we're going to have to use the same highlight. Sorry. All right. First, I'm going to use contour. I'm going to take this. This is a... Small tapered powder brush, Profusion. And I'm gonna dip into this lightest shade right here. It's cool tone. We're gonna use that. Whoa, whoa. Is that more pigmented than I remember? Maybe. Hmm. Okay. You know, a lot of contours say contour, but they're actually more bronzer shades because they're warmer. And when you're going for a contour, you kind of want a cooler tone because that's what creates the shadow is the cool tone. Um, profusion contour is actually a cool tone. <laughs> they do have a warm tone one, but I can't imagine who's using that. I don't know. Maybe there's a skin tone out there where a warm one works better. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But not mine. Contour the nose. La la. La la. Contour my little nose. La la. La la. Does anybody remember? <laughs> Looney Tunes. Is it? Was it? It was. I think it was Looney Tunes. I don't think it was Tiny Tunes. It was either Looney Tunes or Tiny Tunes. One of those, where the little duck tries to flush everything down the toilet, and he's like, "Ducky, go down the hole. Ducky, come back." <laughs> the funniest thing ever. I don't know why that's so freaking hilarious to me, but it cracks me up. I used to love it. All right. This is gonna stop, hang on. And we're back. Okay, I'm gonna go into something that is not shimmery. Okay, that leaves juicy. I'm gonna mix juicy and playful. Juicy, playful. We're gonna tone down the juicy. Because we don't need to be that juicy. I think I'm gonna use this actually. Not profusion. This is Real Techniques 400. And it is a blush brush. Go fair who to thunk. All right, we're gonna go into juicy. Wow, too much. 
and then playful. Oh god, I'm scared. All right, here we go. Well, this brush does a great job at kind of toning down the... Okay, or maybe that was me. <laughs> Could have been me. I didn't do contour... Oh, Jesus, Jackie. I didn't do bronzer yet. <laughs> Whoops. All right, we're gonna go into wash a little bit because I don't know, I just feel like this is a little too pink for my liking. Okay, well, you know, here we are. Here we are. Okay, now we're gonna use contour or bronzer, 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 which I'm gonna use this, this sassy that's in the palette like I did in the last video. And it looked real nice, real nice. Let me find a smaller brush, though. All right, we're going to use this brush. I shrunk again. Did you see it? Did the camera catch it? Oh, my God. This freaking thing. Battery's starting to die already. Rude. Battery. feel like I might need new batteries. All right. Go back. Go into Sassy. And we're going to, you know what? I feel like Sassy might be a little, I don't know. Let's try Fudge. We're gonna, mm, we're gonna mix Novel, which is this one, and Sassy, these two. Kind of warm it up a little bit because, I don't know, I just feel like, oh, oh boy. This might have been a big mistake. Okay, that wasn't, it really wasn't. <laughs> Seemed like one for a minute there, but it really wasn't. Oh jeez, knocking shit over. All right, I did not contour. Chin. Well, sassy it is. Okay, there's that. Now we highlight. same one I used last time because I like that shade. It's just a good shade for me really. Mm-hmm. Looking good. All right now I gotta spray my face. How many is this Milani make it last? I don't know why. I like it but like, I don't really need to make it last. That was a good a good setting spray for bridal makeup. Don't let me tell you. Well, there's that. Now we do something. What do we do? Under eye. Under eye. We're going to take the outer corner shade that we put on this little brush right here. And going to the outer corner shade was night dream and then we're going to take the is that what I, what did i do here why does it seem as though i used two different brushes all right we're going to use this pointed crease eyeshadow brush I don't know what I did, but we're going to take the canopy shade and we're going to blend that out. And then I'm going to use a Essence Stay and Play Gel Liner in the shade Buff But First Espresso, which 
which is a brown. I'm gonna put that in the waterline. And then we're gonna use that Profusion Mascara again and see how it looks on the bottom lash line. Oh my goodness. I did not get a lippy. Just didn't see any that I thought were something I would actually use, you know? Mm -mm. It's looking good on the bottom. And that uh, spot I got of mascara on the top kind of disappeared on its own. I don't even see it up there. I hope that's a good sign. Oh my goodness. Now we need a lip. Oh god, here we go. Okay, so there's this and that, but these are like glosses though, and they're not really lippies. Neither one of these would work with this look. I have glosses, but like this is like a reddish, it's like, it's an orange. It's a coral orange color. And then I have a super pink color. Neither one of these will go. Yeah, that one seems to be a little more clear. But neither one of these will really go with this, so. Can't really use those. Oh, let me see, let me see. Um, This is, yeah, fuck it. We're gonna do Lee Beauty Satin Crush Lipstick Moroccan Spice. And what do we wanna do for a lip liner? I bet this one will go. Eh, not really. This one? Okay, screw it. I'm using the Sugar and Spice by LA Girl. I didn't see any lip liners either, by the way. Beep. Don't know who's beeping. They ain't beeping at me. Okay, Moroccan spice. Uh -huh. I said you have an area that I constantly look like I'm wearing the same color. Whatevs. Okay, so this is the final look. That mascara is actually quite nice for $5. I don't hate it. And what else did I buy? Oh, the brow? Meh. You could actually, the mascara was $4. The brow was 5 You could live without the brow. Yeah, hmm. it's not great. We'll try out the uh, just the other side next time, but eh, if you're paying for both sides, it's not worth it because the one side is just bad. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, the base, the primer, eye primer. Oh, so far so good. I'll update you in the next video and let you know. Not, I don't really wear my makeup for that long, so. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes from here until I take off my makeup. Yeah. So that is it for today's video. Video. 
I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I hope you will subscribe if you haven't yet and I hope you will tune in to the next video and I also hope <laughs> that you will have a wonderful day. Bye!